Hello everyone, it's Creative Redundancy back again, and in this video, I'm going to be showing how to reuse a hard drive, a mechanical hard drive that has platters inside, and grab some useful stuff out of them. Alright, here's a hard drive here. As you can see here, it has star shape. Yep, star shape heads. You'll need a star shape screwdriver or a flat, uh, flat edge screwdriver. That's very, very small. So you can actually create enough torque to unscrew it. But I'm not going to use a star shape screwdriver. I'm just going to use my uh, Gerber Dime Travel here. I'm going to use this right here. So whatever you use, if you're using a star shape or a standard flat edge, right? The idea is push down hard and spin counterclockwise. So right here, I'll unscrew this one. I'll push it down hard and spin it. If you heard that sound, you can hear it unscrewing. That's what you want to hear. Just go for all, all, all these here. Push down hard. And spin. Alright, as you can see, all the visible screws are out, but there's actually one right here. Underneath this uh, sticker right here. There's one right here too. Same thing. Push down hard. Spin. It should come out. I think that's all for the screws. I should be able to pry it off now. If you can't pry it off, that means you're missing a screw somewhere in there. Probably underneath the. Oh, nope. I got all the screws off, so that's what it looks like inside a uh, inside a hard drive. So using just the Gerber dime, I've removed this screw right here. Uh, this screw, I well, I uh, stripped uh, stripped it, so I can't unscrew this, and I've undone that screw. Now the magnet should come out now. Right off, and here's one of the neodymium magnets, which is basically a magnet just so the hard drive can erase itself and put new data on. And by the way, if you're removing these screws, right, you want to slightly unscrew them first using the same thing, like I said, downward pressure counterclockwise you want to hear that unscrewing sound right that little click or click type of sound right then you go on to the next one and unscrew it a little and just keep going so it'll be like this push down hard unscrew next one push down hard unscrew so it's the head spinning counterclockwise. Push down hard. Unscrew. Push down hard. Unscrew. Push down hard. Unscrew. Push down hard. Unscrew. Unscrew. All right. Now I've done all six here. Now I'm gonna unscrew them all the way and get back to you guys. All right, I've undone the screws here. Uh, you should hold on to the screws if you want to do projects with with uh, the spinning uh, platter. Right, it still spins, but there's one piece right there. Right, as I slowly. Actually, what I'll do first is remove 
the head first. I'll remove this part with the same motion, just a screwdriver motion. So I'm going to unscrew this part first. Here. I'm still using the Gerber Dime Travel right now. Unscrew this here. Alright. Now without this part, you have access to the platter now. It should come out very easily. Now sometimes these hard drives can have more than one platter, right? More one of these discs. Or if you're using trying to disassemble uh, two and a half, well, a smaller hard drive from like a laptop, for example, right? The platter may not be metallic, right? But this is a metallic platter. Some of those smaller hard drives have glass platters. So something like this. This is a glass platter. This one's a metal one. You can hear the sound difference. Alright, now, this has been disassembled. I plugged in the power, right? Now this is just IDE, but this could be SATA too. But if you plug in your power, right? I turn it on. Where the hard drive was, well, where the platter was, it'll still spin. See, that's spinning, right? Now, depending on your hard drive, will depend on the revolutions per minute from 5400 uh, RP 5, RPMs all the way up to like 7200 or more RPMs, right? Revolutions per minute. So, if you wanted to, you can add in... Now that you've taken the platter out, you can put the platter back on in the same way and adhere sandpaper to it and create a f kind of a sanding disc using this, right? See how shiny that is now? That's, that's just a cheap folder. From that, with green scrubby, I can make it into a buffer. So now I have a seventy two hundred RPM buffer. See there, something like that. You can scrap the aluminum and their metals for for cash at the scrapyard, or melt them down and reuse them inside of a forge. So there's lots of different things you can use, even a broken, non-working hard drive. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up and hit like. If you're new to my channel, hit subscribe so you can check out the latest content from me now let me know down in the comments down below on what you think about this and what would you use any of this stuff that i've been showing in this video for you know what would you use it for you know you could probably use this for a lot of different things so let me know down below all right, as the world changes so much oneself to reach a new level of skill and knowledge, one must practice. One person can't help everyone in this world, but one person can help someone in this world. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on reusing hard drives, uh, specifically mechanical hard drives and not solid state hard drives. All right, guys, until next video, peace.